Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Dog Schlock Top 10s, where I'm doing my own personal picks of the top 10 worst dog horror movies. C-Spot Run, C-Spot Kill, C-Spot do all kinds of really bad stuff in my, in, uh, my picks for the worst dog-related horror movies. And we start things off at, of course, number 10 with Rottweiler. Pretty much think of it as, ter- as uh, if the Terminator was a dog. It's not that bad of a movie, but yeah. Number nine goes to Devil Dog, Hound of Hell. Scratch it behind its ear and uh, something bad might happen to you. Number eight goes to Atomic Dog. The first ever nuclear-powered dog. (laughs) Or something like that. Number seven goes to Man's Best Friend. This dog can do it all to everybody else that it doesn't like very much. Number six goes to Dogs. Think of it as sort of like Village of the Dogs. Very weird, unusual movie. Number five goes to Monster Dog. Alice Cooper. Roll over. <laughs> Number four goes to Pet Cemetery 2. Back by popular demand? I don't think so. I... This one, definitely not. But it was really, really bad. Number three goes to The Breed, a movie I reviewed some time ago. I found it very predictable, and it certainly, certainly was. God bless you, Wes Craven. Number two goes to Zoltan, Hound of Dracula. It's pretty much vampire dogs all around this movie, if you can believe that one. But my pick for the worst dog-related movie, and this one is going to be an arguable one, but I'll explain why. The Killer Shrews. Why? It's dogs with some sort of shrew-like fur and all that on them, and that's pretty much what the movie was. It was was dogs dressed as shrews, and yeah, pretty messed up. Very bad movie, too, if you've ever seen it. So there you guys have it. My picks for the top ten worst dog horror movies. Oh, wow. Uh, Rottweiler, I have to say, honestly, I I actually did kind of enjoy. I mean, it was silly at times, but a lot of fun to watch at the same time, too. Uh, But all the others I could not recommend because they were just, they were all pretty bad. Um, Friday, of course, as you all know, is Friday the 13th, and I'm going to have a special edition of Doc Schlock where I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to review a sort of Friday the 13th ripoff, or basically, well, I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be just yet, but it's definitely going to be a movie where there's a killer loose in the woods, stalking stupid people and killing them all, and that's going to be a tough list to go through to figure out which one's that going to be, but I will definitely have a special uh, Friday the 13th edition of Doc Schlock, where uh, it's going to be a, this going to be one of those really bad kind of horror movies. Uh, also, uh, the next, uh, the next top ten for you guys, of course, I'm hoping that you'll still send me in your picks for the worst video game turn movies. Uh, again, you can pick any one of them that you want to. They don't necessarily have to be, um, horror movies. They can be anything, and... Again, the one I'm get <laughs> the the one that's most popular so far is one of my favorites. But uh, if it if it uh, if it gets to that number one spot, that's okay. It's you guys' pick, so you know keep sending them in. Oh man! Also, Thanksgiving special holiday schlock episode will be on, and I hope you guys will check that one out as well. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Doc Schlock Top Tens. If you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. And if you have a top 10 that you would like for me to do for you, send it to me in a message and your picks from number 10 to number 1, and I will get on it for you just as soon as I can. I have done several top 10s in the past for you guys, and I enjoy doing them, and I hope you guys can come up with more of them, because believe me, it's not easy for me to try to pick my own personal picks in the top 10 worst whichever horror movies but you guys you guys can pick some pretty good ones so I hope you guys keep doing that but uh, but yeah so so just keep trying to send in your picks of the worst video game movies and I will try and do them 
probably sometime after the new year, so I hope you guys will check that out when that one happens. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, so, weird music, I know. <laughs> but thanks, you guys, so very, very much for watching, and until next time around, as always, stay strong and rock on. Clifford versus Godzilla. I've always wondered what that outcome would be if those two ever, ever fought each other.